Her music first traveled to the Chinese-speaking world when this love loan ballad she wrote was used in Hong Kong director Edmund Pang's best-selling film Love in a Bar. <laughs> And now, her career has soared to even greater heights after a Chinese composition, What a Gershengli, was covered by Li Dai Mo, a contestant on reality singing contest Voice of China, which caused a high profile controversy due to the show's failure to seek permission for the cover. Although she's now famous, the China born, Canada based Chu Wan Ting did not have an easy start. When she was a student in Vancouver, she once had to double up as a cleaning lady and even dealt with workplace harassment to earn her keep so that she could afford tickets to concerts, music workshops, and networking sessions. You know, most of today's artists、uh, got to join the music scene, you know, because they were contestants of a televised singing contest. Or you know because they are children or friends of those who are already in the business. But for you, it's a different case altogether because you are a student、uh, from China traveling to Canada to study something that's totally non-music related. Yeah. <laughs> and then you got yourself noticed and signed to a label in yeah. Canada. Yeah. So how did you get yourself noticed in the first place? I just have to be、uh, thick-faced. <laughs> I just have to like tell、uh, you know. Grab all the opportunities that I can have, and then just promote myself.、Mm-hmm. Um, I met the、uh, CEO of Network. I met him in 2005 at a workshop. At the time, he was Avril Lavigne, Sarah McLachlan's manager. And the same year, I met him at Sarah McLachlan's concert.、Mm-hmm. I ran、wow. to him and I said to him, "I said,、ah, Terry, you don't know me." But I know you.、Um, <laughs> I don't have. I'm also a singer and songwriter.、Uh, I have my own songs, but I'm not ready to show you right now because、uh, I don't have money to record them. He was very down to earth and kind. He's like, "Well, if you like my artist, then chances are I will like your music. So show、wow. me when you're ready." And so he passed me his business card and he shook my hand. And I got my EP ready、mm-hmm. four years later. So I drop off my CD and. Ten days later, he contacted me. He's like,、um, "Do you want to have a breakfast meeting、uh, this Thursday, 10:30 a.m.?、Um, I would like to talk to you about、um, possibilities." And then I got signed to Network. Wan Ting was in Singapore for the first time to promote a debut full-length album, "Everything in the World." The 29-year-old had earlier completed a North American tour, which includes cities like New York and Los Angeles. At the very beginning, your parents were not quite happy with the path that you chose for yourself. So, did they at any point in time threaten to withdraw financial support for you in Canada? My mom did say something that really scared me. <laughs> she would she would tell me that she can't support me anymore. She's running out of money, maybe, and like she just want me to. To know that I should not spend her money on anything else but, but Stay, education,、right. but this. So you took up some part-time job. Yeah, like being a housemaid, cleaning right, lady. Right. And you had to quit this first job because you were harassed by the boss. So what did he do to you? He was very, I don't know, attracted to me, and he wanted to, I don't know, be more than just like boss and the employee type of thing. And he has a girlfriend. I was like, what the hell? Like, what are you doing? Um, uh, so yeah, after a while, I just don't feel like、mm-hmm. I should be there because then, like, I was worried, like, like, just me and him alone, like, what's gonna happen? And、uh, so then,、uh, I decided to quit. Were your parents aware of this? No. No. Okay. It was nothing like、uh, really serious. Like、right. it wasn't like sexual harassment. And no, but it was it was kind of leading there, and I don't want that to happen. So I kind of just.、Left. The outspoken Wan Ting is also one who wears ambition on her sleeve. When I first went to Canada for school,、uh, I actually picked a name for myself, a, an English name. My name was Betty. So I used Betty、uh, in that school, and teacher was like,、um, "You know, it's like a really old-fashioned name. Like when you say Betty, you think of World War II, like a nurse, nurse name. You don't look like a Betty."
I was like, oh, he's like, you should use your own name. Like your your name is just like great, like like wanting. You're wanting, right? You're wanting something. You're wanting. I was like, oh, okay, maybe yeah. I think I'm, my name is kind of, it's kind of cool. Next up, Wanting tells us more about her Grammy dreams. <laughs> 